Hi, my name is Jared Chapman. I'm going to demonstrate seven tools that I use in addition to Canvas to improve the instruction. Uh, these are advanced tools. Most of these were not in the course. However, I think they're in the spirit of the course and they're things that I use um, to help improve student performance. Uh, most of this is based on the research I do in educational uh, technology here at the university in a tool that we've been developing called Delphinium. And I'm going to focus uh, on the parts, for the most part, on the teacher tools that are available. So I'm going to jump right in. And the first one we're going to look at is, um, I'm going to do these out of order. Let's do who is struggling first. So this is the Delphinium grade book. It has a lot of the same information as the regular grade book. Uh, this is all Canvas data. so. To use this tool, you just have to add it as an LTI in the class. Uh, in this <clears throat> interface, you get a list of all the students, first and last name. If there are multiple sections, you can filter for those. You can see how many points there the students is earning, what percent of the points the students out of this, what percent of the points they've attempted out of the, excuse me, what percent of the points they've earned out of the points they've attempted. Uh, are listed in this column. Uh, this class does not use the bonus or penalty uh, functionality of Delphinium. And uh, then the current live grade is available here to the students. So um, who is struggling? This is, this is this first tool. So very quickly, if you go ahead and just sort this column, there's this red light, yellow light, green light on the right hand side of the column it shows you very quickly who's falling substantially behind the class who's slightly behind the, in the class and who is ahead in the class using this information it, it helps you get a, just a gut feeling really quick of who's doing well and, and what you can do to improve uh, while i'm here i'm gonna just talk about filtering as well so uh this is uh, the second item on my list, it's actually the first item, filtering and messaging. So if I want to find out really quickly how a specific student is, uh, I can jump in here and I can say, um, how's Maria doing? So as I start typing Maria's name, Maria comes up and I notice that she has a D minus. And that for the class right now, that might not be that great, so I want to reach out to her. Or if she has a question about her grade, I can jump to it very quickly. Um, that works for the first and last name. If I talk to uh, Manuel Perez, I can start typing in Perez, and it will jump straight to that student, so I know very, very quickly how they're doing in the class. Um, like I said before, I can filter by section if I if this is a, a Canvas shell with multiple sections. Um, this next bit I think is kind of powerful. I can jump in here and say, well, show me everybody who's currently got less than, oh, let's say 250-ish in the class. So these students are really struggling, these two students. Um, I'm going to expand that a little bit more. Let's say less than 400. So, so these are six students: one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's handy to have that number so you can just see quickly who's how many students you're dealing with. Um, these these students are struggling. So uh, I can see that very quickly at a glance, and I can I can know who I should be thinking about. Um, once I have this filtered, I can message them. So if I come over here and I can click on this little envelope icon, it will pull up an email address to these six students. And I can say, uh, grade check. And I can now author one email to all six of them. So I can put in their first name, comma. I notice that you only have uh, let's say current score points in the class. By now you should have, uh, let's say, 900 points in the class. I'm 
worried about you. Can uh, can we set up a time to meet? Now this you know, best, Dr. Chapman. This starts out as a uh, a mass email. It's a customized mass email. But these become very personal one-on-one -on -one conversations when they email back. Um, frequently get comments from students saying things like, wow, I've never had a, a teacher care about me the way you do to, to reach out to me this way. Um, I often find out things about students that would probably have sabotaged their success. Maybe they've got a life event that I can help accommodate with the class. Uh, maybe they're just discouraged or they just don't understand and they're giving up. So this is an opportunity to catch people in those situations. So I'm not going to send this, of course. I'm going to cancel this. If I come back and cancel that filter, I could filter the other direction. I could say, well, show me everybody who's just doing really great in the class. Um, let's see if I can make this small enough that it's noticeable. Well, there's a lot of people doing well. So these are my superstar students, and I can do the same thing. Now I can send them an email, uh, except this time I'm going to say something like, uh, hey, good job, you've got this many points, uh, I'm proud of you, keep up the good work, uh, as a way to encourage my students. So that's the second one, so of my, that's the first two. So filtering and messaging and who is struggling. Also, um, through the Delphinium Gradebook, we have a tool called um, assignment stats so this there's there's three more tabs here so this is every assignment listed in the class and i get this nice box and whisker plot so this grade is the average score out of a hundred and uh, the box and whisker plot will tell me the min median max first quartiles and third quartiles of assignments so i can look at an assignment like this and see well you know uh seems to be working pretty well most people are performing very well but uh, wow, um, at least one person got a zero on that, and so I could dig into that assignment and learn more. If I uh, come over here and click on this, um, it will just open up Canvas for that assignment, and then I can jump into the speed grader or look at the quiz statistics to see what, what might be going wrong with that assignment. And so that's one set of stats. Another set of stats is this dashboard here. Gives me the average points in the class, the average health. By health, that's the uh, per, you know the percent in the class, um, the average current score, and again, this class doesn't have bonus or penalties, so those columns don't mean anything. Then we have this histogram that very visually shows how everyone's grades are doing. I can uh, the darker these blue boxes are, the more students have those grades. Um, can see uh, I've split up these A's into elite A's and A's, and so we've got about 20 students in that A category. Um, these stats, again, as a semester progresses, it makes it very easy to see where students are and how they're progressing. And so that was course stats and assignment stats. And now I'm going to jump into course skins. Uh, Delph uh, Canvas comes with um a variety of well two course skins um i'll show you those in this in my class here so this is the four the first uh, modules is a course skin this one this pulls up here um this is a place where students can come and get a lot of information about how they're doing, the, what they've completed, what's coming up in the class. Um, I like to call it the gray scroll of death. It's not really interesting. It's not that compelling. Um, but this is kind of the hub, a central dashboard, if you'd like to call it that, for what the, what the uh, class looks like. Here's another skin that Canvas provides. By skin, I mean an interface to the underlying data. This is the assignments interface, so some teachers use this one. Again, it's not much much better than the modules. It's less organized. Uh, I guess you can have groups. But you can see when assignments are due, and you can see uh, whether they've been completed or not. 
I'm going to show you a couple of uh, delphinium uh, skins. So this is the first one. This is for a chemistry class. Um, these are still the same. It's still the same canvas information, but here's the modules assignments. You've got extra information here to tell you, you know, how you're doing in the class, how your peers are doing, what your current grade is. Uh, we've got these Easter eggs that are kind of fun and goofy. Um, I'll do a quick one here for you. So as students earn more points, they can um, unlock these Easter eggs. There's a leaderboard that's available to the students. They get uh, aliases. So this is a chemistry class, so that everyone gets an alias that is related to uh, a chemical element. As students perform better, they can um, add to their avatar, build different avatars. <clears throat> A here is a different one, a different skin. Oops, I hit the wrong button. This is also a delphinium skin. This um, this interface shows the students all of the assignments at once and but uh, they're organized in more of a hierarchy and the students have a lot of flexibility of what they choose to study when. Um, these are all the same as the other. Uh, maybe I can pull up one more just so you can see some of the variety. I'll pull up a Tech 10, 10 class. Oops. This is uh, this this class is a Tech 10, 10 and it is a, uh, a different type of approach. They use a cafeteria style. So in this model, the students are free to choose uh, different assignments, um, and assign, they they don't have to do all the assignments. They just have to choose assignments from each of these buckets. Each bucket is a course outcome. Okay, so moving on. That was, uh, we've done filtering message, who is struggling, course stats, assignment stats, course skins, uh, oh, and then a motivational affordances. So motivational affordances are reasons for the students to do more. So I, I, that's what I was trying to show you here. Um, I've had students email me and say, uh, you know, I was, I was sitting watching Netflix with my wife last night and I had the thought, I could be doing homework, uh, and, and they did. Um, there's something about what the, what Delphinium tries to accomplish is to give people want a reason to want to compete complete uh, a class or, or to perform better in a class. Um, so we do that by providing game elements. Um, we do that by providing. Um, dashboard information so students can see very clearly where they've been, where they are, and where they're going. We want to create feelings of success, feelings of uh, connection to other people, feelings of uh, autonomy, feelings of urgency, and feelings of fun. So we, we provide a, a variety of different approaches to that so um, students have a reason to continue in the class. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is um, sort of an advanced use of the grading scale. So most people typically use just whatever is there, but I wanted to show you how we are using the grading scale, not just as a way to report progress, but also as a motivational affordance. So uh, we used um, a lot of these classes are using zero-based grading instead of top-down grading. Zero-based grading, grading, you start at zero and you work your way up. Um, in this class, uh, what that means is you might 
you, you have an F until you get 60% of the points, which might take you a while. So here we have added multiple layers of F. Uh, there's even some layers of unofficial withdrawal for students who don't complete enough assignments. Um, and then at the top, we've added two layers of A. There's the A and the Elite A. They're both still A's, but it just gives us a reason to push through the content and do a little better um, for those students who, who feel a little competitive or who want to push themselves.